in SOLIDWORKS, they have an option to chamfer a point and you can select a point and just chamfer it and you can control the distance of um, the original point to the new point as you can see and we can also change it in the parametric way so today video I'm going to show you how to do this in uh, FreeCAD, uh, the Pratt Workbench and the Curves Workbench. We can create uh, something simple. So I create a sketch in the top view and it will create a center rectangle. Uh, and we set visualize equal and hit E for equal set the length of this line now again uh, i can extrude this one up to 400 and i give it a tap tapper angle uh, for example uh, negative five now we jump for this point uh, with a uh, 30 mm here 40 here and 50 here so first i will go to the colors workbench if you don't have the colors workbench you can go to the tools and add-on manager to install it Now I select this line and I will create a um, split curve so that I have the first split curve appear in the tree view as you can see. I'm doing the same with this line. And this line. Okay, now I have uh, three split curve. I can select in the first one and I set the number instead of two points. I want just one point. And I'm doing the same with V2. Set V2 to one point. Now you can see the point seem is uh, disappear, but now I can go to the distance and we set the distance to 30. You can see 30 this point is over here is not correct so I just flip it to negative 30 okay now this point in the position that I want doing the same here set this point to 40 40 is good okay now I can set this point to 50 50 wrong, so I go to negative 50. Now I have three points. The next step is I will create a freehand B supply. I just need to create two freehand B supply for this. So I select the two points and create freehand B supply. I double click on it to confirm that. And I select the two points, create an outer freehand display. Now I have another one. Next I go to the Pratt Workbench. Control select visualize and and I will go to the rule surface. I will create a new rule surface. So now I have a rule surface and this rule surface will be my the cutter to cut my object. And if you want to create this in four corners, you can go to the drawer and create a polar rate. Set this to four. And you just control select in the model and the rate. 
go to the prat go to the prat split and then slide a prat now I go inside the folder and I have these four these uh, four slides and I also have these split curve now I can click on each split curve and change in the number for example a negative 100 and this one to 80 This one to negative 50, and it's work twice. So that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.